the tie yeah. look? Yeah, man, that looks good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wibben Quarterly Meeting. Glad you're here today, and I'm glad you are flying with Team Awesome. I'll explain in a minute. My name is Philip Stewart. I'm a project manager on the Creative Solutions team here at David Glass Technology Center. I have the longest title in this company, I swear. I'm glad you're here with us today. I'm gonna to take just a minute of your time and tell you a little bit about myself, but first, I'm gonna to pitch to myself in the booth. Phil? Thanks, Philip, and uh, check that tie, won't you? That guy. Anyway, my team and I here at David Glass Technology Center oversee all that goes on in the cafetorium, this large meeting room you see here. In addition to the meetings that go on in the cafetorium, we also handle video projects, graphic design, and other large events that go on here on campus. My team consists of the following. Greg Elzia is our media director. Wave, Greg. Alex Freeman is our in-house photographer and media producer. Unfortunately, he is out sick today, so we have a stand-in. Trent Sullivan, our fearless leader and manager of the team. And last but not least, Casey Booth, the guy in this crazy contraption you see here. All together, when our powers combine, we are Team Awesome. Now, I've been asked to answer a couple questions about myself so that everyone can get to know me a little bit better. The first question is, what is some of your past work experience? So, before working at Walmart, I worked for three of the large Baptist churches here in the Northwest Arkansas area, and I was a graphic designer, video editor, similar to what I do here, um, as well as large event management, so holidays and stuff like that, directing volunteers, directing cameras, has a, a production aspect on Sunday mornings, and then ultimately editing their TV show to go to TV. The second question is, what do you feel is your greatest accomplishment, personally or professionally? My greatest accomplishment, I would say, is exactly that. What I've done since I graduated high school is all of my work in church. Uh, I started as a seventh grader in a junior high volunteering for my youth department. And from there, all the way until you see me now, I have had a great passion for people and changing people's lives. So everything that I've done up until now, the even the little small things, editing the TV show and making it look just a little bit better, you know, adding that pizzazz to it to catch attention. But the message and what it represents ultimately is changing people's lives for the better. And so I look back over the last 10, 12 years of my life and, and realize that uh, I may not see it, but I know that I've changed a lot of people's lives, and that makes me feel really good. The last question is, what are some of your hobbies outside of work? Um, I am kind of boring. <laughs> I am a huge gadget nerd, so I read a lot of tech blogs, um, a lot. My wife gets a little irritated at me. Um, I'm also kind of a car fanatic. Uh, I read a lot of car blogs. I like working on my car. I've had several. And, tinkering with, uh, with new parts and stuff like that, you know, just whatever I can get my hands on. Um, beyond that, I have no kids yet. My wife and I live in Springdale, which is just south of here. We have two vicious dogs. Vicious. Anyway, that's about it. Um, that is me in a nutshell. Thank you again for giving me the time to uh, sit down and talk to you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the meeting and uh, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in person at some point. Thanks.